Take number five, food inflation. One of the places where pretty much we see inflation stuck in our face on a day-to-day -day basis is in food. We all know the stories, going to the grocery stores and coming out of it with incredible sticker shock. Uh, a lot of our anger is being directed at the foods, at the grocery stores, the food producers. Um, we hear all about greed inflation or stealth inflation. The reality though is, have you been to a restaurant lately? Last few times that I've been out to a restaurant, I, I, I had a shawarma dinner uh, plate cost 27 bucks. And that was just basically shawarma fries and lettuce, iceberg lettuce. I went to a restaurant with my family, ended up paying $127 for a, a dosa dinner, which literally a couple of years ago cost like $60, $70. Reality is uh, grocery stores, they're not like our mom and dad's grocery stores. They sell a lot more ready-made, prepared, warm, kind of heated food, uh, takeout kind of food. While they're more expensive, more expensive, reality is they're, you know, on, a, on a relative basis, they're actually cheaper than what restaurants are offering. And that's a shame because I'm, I'm worried about restaurants. Really, they've taken enough hits already from the pandemic. I feel like we're going to take a lot of hits from the inflation side. Another thing here, reality here also is that the good news, though, is that input costs seem to be going down. We look at base base uh, material type costs like fertilizers and going that ultimately feed, go into feed products. Those are falling. So ultimately, the lower input costs should result in lower prices. Uh, but one thing I'm suspecting is probably might happen is that these companies, these food companies, may not necessarily pass on those savings to 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 consumers. And from an investment perspective, it wouldn't surprise me to see in a short and medium term. Some of these companies uh, post earnings, uh, earnings type surprises as they are just trying to fight and squeeze to get as much margin out of them. So in the short term, medium term, kind of paying attention a little bit to the food stock uh, type companies, food producers, there might be some upside over there uh, from that side. That's all I got for you today. If 